like that one's good. Today I'd like to take a look at battery testers. Uh, there are commercial pieces available, such as this one from Radio Shack. To use it, we simply insert the battery. I'll try this battery. And according to the needle, it looks good. Easy enough. Let's try this battery. And um, replace, not so good. Okay, so there's the operation, fairly simple. So while this is easy to use, it doesn't reveal its operation. If we were to dissect it, we would find a galvanometer inside and a galvanometer is simply a coil of wire with a magnet located in its center. Now, when this coil is energized by running electricity through it, it produces a magnetic field, which then causes that magnet to move. In this case, we can see the magnet in the center is a compass needle. This would also have some type of small resistance inside, which is going to simply put the battery under additional load. Now, when we take a look at my homemade battery tester, it also starts with a coil of wire. It has a magnet in the center of it that's able to rotate, and when the coil is energized, the magnet will move perpendicular to the coil, telling us whether the battery is good or not. All right, let's try this first battery. All right, that looks pretty good. And let's try this one. And not so good. Here's another version that was made with recycled materials. The wire was out of a motor, the pointer is a straw, the back plate is cardboard, and it works the same way. When the coil is energized, it causes the magnet to move perpendicular to the center of the coil. Now let's try a couple batteries on this piece. And that one's good. And not so good. 